general comment about uh, your job and how tough it is to be advertising basically a country with so much negative image all these years. It is a tough job. I don't uh, envy anyone being now in government, uh, but at least we're starting to see some positive signs. I have to say though that the social cost of this transition to of the economy has been enormous. We have 60% of the young population, 27% of the total population unemployed, and one third of the Greeks now below the line of poverty. But at least this effort is starting to play up. In 2012 and 13, we're meeting our budget objectives. This year, for the first time, the recession is being revised positively, so we have less recession than we anticipated. We are seeing unemployment being stabilized in the second quarter of 2012, 13, sorry, and that gives us a degree of confidence. Having said that, there's still a lot of work to be done. What are the strengths of Greece at this time? What are the selling points when you go to an investor and you tell them, do you know what, consider Greece? The selling points are many. First of all, you have a very dynamic and well-educated workforce. We have a strategic position in the southeast of Europe as an entry point to the EU from the east. We have a very well-developed and well-known tourist product. We have a very strong shipping industry. These are core competences of Greece that can be developed further. But they need investments. For example, the fact that we're the entry point to the EU from the east doesn't mean much until you get an up-and-running railway system, which is top-notch, until you improve your uh, infrastructure in the ports, in the highways, in the regional airports. And this is exactly what we're trying to do. We're investing in infrastructures, especially through the privatization program, to get more of um, the strategic position being recognized by the investors. Also, we are capitalizing on the positive image that Greece has around the world. We introduced, for example, a law that gives residence permit to people that invest in the housing market. We've seen already a lot of interest from countries where Greece has a cultural relationship and link with, like China, the Gulf, Middle East or Russia, people that are investing now in the housing industry. There is a lot of competitive advantage that the country has. It's up to us now to capitalize on the effort we have made to get investment coming through. Do you think we really have a shot? We have a shot and we, we're giving our best shot at, to that. We have had negative publicity in the last few years, but I think the climate is changing and we've seen a lot of the official state visit we've done with the President of the Republic and the Prime Minister to key countries where they have had some negative publicity in the past. We're seeing the environment changing completely. I think people appreciate and recognize the sacrifice of the Greek people. I think the world is recognizing the enormous effort we are doing to get the economy back on track. And this short-term negativism I don't think is lo any longer there. Greece on the long run has a very good brand name, a brand name that allowed us this year to have a record number of arrivals in the tourist industry, a brand name that has allowed us to grow exports to 15.5% of GDP in the first half of 2013, which is a record for Greece. What are some investments in these last you know, two years that have been done in Greece by companies owned by Greek Americans? We haven't had an inflow of investments from Greek Americans yet. Um, there is a lot of interest, there's a lot of discussions, there's a lot of maturity that needs to take place. Uh, we've seen the Hellenic Initiative uh, now getting into strength with a major event they're organizing on Thursday. We have had specific groups looking at specific assets and I would hope that some of these investments will happen. Um, it takes a lot of time to change the, the perception that Greek Americans has about the Greek economy. We have had a lot of uh, negative examples in the last decades of unsuccessful attempts to go back to their homeland. Uh, Investment-wise, there's a lot of bureaucratic uh, obstacles that people have recognized. We have changed the legal framework, we have new tools, but it, it takes time to persuade people that these are working and they're ready to solve the problems. What did you say to the people here today? I have to congratulate the people that have founded uh, Concordia. It's an attempt to bring together the private and the public sector, talk together about the opportunities of collaboration. Solutions to, to the demanding world will come through collaboration of the private and public sector. And this is what Concordia stands for. I was uh, privileged to speak about youth unemployment, an issue I feel very uh, strongly about. Um, the private sector has taken a number of initiatives, but we, the policy makers, need to do more. Not in Greece, but throughout Europe. We need to do more in to get the more opportunities for the young generation. We are at risk in the developed world of losing a generation and we can't afford that.